Oh, uh, yeah. Good morning. Look at that. Nice. Me and Miles about to do some cleaning off of some cars and cleaning of the driveway this morning. So, look what I did yesterday, y'all. Yeah. Water was sitting right here next to the house really bad, so I came out here and dug it away. Look at that, y'all. That don't look pretty. I can't wait to go back there today. We got snow for the first time. Clean these cars off right quick. Let's get to it. All right, Miles, what did we just get done doing? You just got done using snowblower. Oh, yep, snowblower, snowblower, yep. Yeah. Our driveway and their driveway. And yep, I did our driveway and I did our neighbor's driveway over there. And I did our sidewalk all the way around. But. And now we have to put salt down. Yeah, we got to put salt down. That's right. It turned out pretty good. The snowblower worked good. Yes. It worked very good. Not It wasn't a whole lot of snow. Can you show them my big uh, snowball? snowball? Yep, let's go show them that snowball. Miles got to make him a little smoke, so a uh, big snowball, not a little one. So he wanted to show you how what it looked like. Today, I got to run and get the money together, or get the, uh, sign all the paperwork for the tractor today. Then I also close on my house today. We're refinancing the house today. And I got to go into work a little bit. Go ahead. Yep, that's very nice. Put my hand. Go for it. Oh, I only yep. can make it past the new snow. Yep. All right, so we got everything done. Put down the salt right quick, then get on with the day. How many steps I got so far for the day? Miles, come assist me with my step counter, please. Take your glove off and hit my step counter for me. Put my sleeve up, too. You got 1,500. Here again. 1,583. Yep. We're doing good. That was just to get the uh, snow out the driveway. So we did pretty good so far. All right, let me get back to work. Put some salt down. Dang. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the back deck. all covered up is that it that boy look used is that the one it's a 1025r that might be it but that boy look like it's been used that boy look ah, I hope that ain't my baby they got the bucket. Hey, this might be a good look right here. That's going to be it. I think that's mine. Let's go inside and talk to him. So this one was mine.
Yep. So what we'll do is, now, now that it's loose from the tractor, you'll shut it off. You'll undo your hydraulics, and then you gotta plug them back together. You gotta make a constant loop. Right, so, so that it don't leak. So yeah, so it don't leak. So uh, I'm not gonna do that right yeah, now. Yeah, I yeah. got no room to pull it, but yeah, you'll, you'll shut off the tractor, undo the lines, and then it doesn't hurt because this will settle over time. Put a brick, put, like put a wood. Yeah, yeah, underneath it. Yeah, yeah. That way, they're coming back up to it. You're, you're good to go. Now, do you let it down or no? No, no, don't let it down. So put a brick underneath this part. Yep, yeah, yeah, underneath the back in here. All right. Now we can get it back on. I don't know. We're gonna. Oh, what? We're gonna rest on this table. those to do that, right? Yeah, you can use the outriggers to do that. And we'll just fold them back up. And then lock into place. And you've got your safety rock. The pin starts to fit. Can you turn that to the side? Or does it have to be straight back? Oh no, yeah, you can, you can turn it, but when you take it off, you want to have it straight. straight. Yeah. Yeah, you can, uh, which way, if you were driving with it, which way would you transport with it? Uh, I mean, depending on, on your trailer, you can turn it sideways if you need the space to get it on your trailer. but. Typically, I like to keep everything straight, you know. It, okay. Now, if I was go, if I was at home, and I was riding through my yard, how would I have it? I would keep it like this while I'm moving. Keep it like this, and you can curl this all the way up. For maximum ground clearance. Okay, that's better. Yeah, yeah. Now, if I'm if I'm taking, uh, cutting just cutting the grass, yeah. I could take that off and this off and just yeah. use. Yards are really nice. You want to keep as much weight. Right. So, yeah, you can, the longer it comes off, you can as well. Yeah, you showed me that the front, the front part, but you can. That's the kickstand, huh? You can actually lock these down. 
That's pretty cool. And I don't have enough room in here to no, show, understood. Show, show the drive over. But, understood. Uh, but now you said that they will put the, the clamps on it so that I can pick it up. The yellow, it was yellow. Yeah, that's the only thing we've got to get uh, put on here is that. Okay. So uh, we'll get that those put on and. Uh, yep. I'm ready. I like it. Yeah, it just showed up uh, late yesterday evening. Yeah, I read your text. Yeah, this is what I want. This is gonna work. That looks good. I like that. That's, yeah, that's going to be heavy. Now that it's on, do you take it out of this drive over deck now? Yes, yeah, so now, now, now that it's pulled up, you can get it. So, say you want to mow at, I don't know, three and a half. Or, yeah, I mow it like four inches. So, yeah, we could we could roll it. I don't think I've got it lifted up all the way. But yeah, I get, get it. it. I get it. So, what are, what, yeah, and what are those for those right are your scalp wheels. So, it's actually got a gauge right here. So, it shows you. Uh huh. So, wherever you cut your grass at, you want to leave these wheels about an eighth to a half inch off the ground. You don't want these, these wheels it. are not designed to roll all the time. So that's a, a, pers a personal preference. So whatever height you cut at, a good rule of thumb, I like to use it. I like to be able to slide my hand underneath of it. So if I've got that deck, let's just say, let's say you're cutting at this height. I like to be able to just get my hand underneath of it. Oh, okay, I see the same. So, I mean, that's a good, I mean, it's not a precise, but it's uh, just something to get in, in the habit of. Understood. I'm learning a lot. So, yeah, if you want to take it out of four-wheel drive. You want to drive up to that loader, we'll get your loader put on. All right. Or if you want me to do it, it's up to you. You can do it. You can do it. Yep. That so way I can record. Video, that way you yep, I can record it and then see it later. So now we're going to go ahead and hook up. Just pull it straight up to it.
want to go on. Yeah, 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 because of the pressure probably. Uh, a little bit. And sometimes you gotta, the little trick is you, you get one of these and you push. Just relieve a little bit of that pressure like that. Sound like you clicked already. Right. Oh, yep. there's that one, and I could just be at a bad angle. Yeah, there it goes. There it, there it is. So we'll do that. to the back. Now he's going to go connect to the back up. Now I ain't going to lie, this is the part that I'm going to have a hard time with. The back up. Like, Trying to get that backhoe connected is going to be a problem. Connecting it and disconnecting it. But I know as soon as I get this boy home, the backhoe is probably going to come off. I might play around with it in the dirt one day and then disconnect it and not have it back until probably the spring. Those are big lines. It is pretty, pretty heavy. Hey, this thing is plenty big enough to me. This thing looks huge. I mean, I was thinking about getting the, uh, what was it, the, the, the one, of, what's the one above this? The 2032 or 2025? The t yeah, 2025. And I'm gonna be honest, this thing is big enough. This thing is huge. I'm gonna love cutting grass with it. Want me to do it? He's making this look so easy. Basically what he's doing is trying to line up those holes right there. It's lined up over here, it looks like. It's not? I'm loving this thing already. This is gonna be nice. Got a step right there.
right? Slide that way. This needs to come up. And then roll back. Yep. Roll straight. Go up a little more. Yep. We're hitting right there. On that side. Yep. Hold on, I'll stop this one. It went in pretty easy once we got working on it. Then he's gonna curl the bucket. 